forces report sporadic outbreaks of violence across the Middle East. Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik. You must be Hong Shur, boss of the White Oak Mountain Triad. <laughs> Sorry. Legitimate businessman. You're connected to Ali Shahid. Interpol has been leveling that same accusation for 15 years. <laughs> if they haven't been able to prove it, why should I believe you can? Mr. Thornton. Mike. You probably haven't heard of me. That's the way I want it. Just believe me when I say I'm a very dangerous man to cross. You must be dangerous indeed to make such threats here, where my men outnumber you 20 to 1. Why don't you ask Ali Shahid how dangerous I am? Shahid, huh? I see. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an American cow. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. I know Shahid was funneling money to you, and I know someone is planning to assassinate Ronald's son. I need to know what those two things have in common. And I need to find a woman who will love me for the real me. Listen, I'm on a deadline here, so cut the crap and tell me what I need to know. Mr. Thornton, a man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. Uh, some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. Now, if you were to discourage them, I will tell you what I know. Or, plan B, I start shooting you in places you didn't know you had until I get some answers. Yes, I'm sure you're capable of such a thing. But it is very hard to torture someone while his bodyguards are shooting you repeatedly. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Hong. <laughs> I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. Yeah? Don't call me Mr. Hong.
appreciate the gesture, but Hong sure could have gotten me a real sword. Truth? Gee, that's a stretch. Stretch or not, it looks like you're going to see some heavier resistance up ahead. found a 10-page list of Triad members. How does that help us? I think it may be a list of all the defectors. You said 10 pages. How many defectors are there? A hell of a lot more than Hong sure told us about. You better watch yourself, Wang. There's no telling what else you forgot to tell us about. Well, my thoughts exactly. Huh?
friendly neighborhood triads have been dealing with Al Samad. You're kidding. Why would they be working together? Any details of the arrangement? No, just some ledgers detailing various transactions. I'm going to find you. This can't be good. Oh, wait, there's a note attached to one of the ledgers. Apparently these defectors weren't happy with the arrangement, but money had nothing to do with it. All right, Mike. Keep looking. There has to be more to this. Think about what I'm stepping in right now. Remind me to burn everything I'm wearing when I get back.
Not long. We'll be there in less than a minute. You better find a good defensive position. Good thinking. It looks like they'll be coming in from the loading dock, directly opposite the door you entered from. Looks like they already had a turret covering that entrance. That might be just the thing to welcome them. Mr. Thornton, you return. The television is already humming with talk of your assault on the slums. Oh, it's all wrapped up, but there's a few things you didn't tell me. And I'm guessing you didn't tell your subordinates either. What exactly are you talking about, Mr. Thornton? I'm talking about why your men defected. It wasn't a business dispute. Don't you think your men have the right to know that? I do not take kindly to blackmail, Mr. Thornton. Take care. You will lose a powerful ally if you follow this road with me. Tell me, what is your silence worth? You know what? I'll keep this one quiet. On the house, you might say, as a token of our friendship. Very wise of you, Mr. Thornton. I can be a valuable ally to those in my good graces. To business, then? Shahid was sending you large sums of money. What was it for? A man in my position has access to certain materials, Mr. Thornton. Materials that a man in Shahid's position finds very valuable. We had a long-standing business arrangement. You were selling him weapons, you son of a bitch. Do you know how many innocent people al Samad has killed? Quite a lot, I should imagine. Not nearly so many as your government, Mr. Thornton. I did not sell weapons to Shahid directly. I was merely a facilitator. You tell yourself whatever you have to to sleep at night. I cannot afford to be sentimental. I ensure that Shahid's fighters had weapons when and where they would be required, for which I was paid large sums of money. And that put you in a position to know about the assassination attempt on Ronald's son. Hand over that information and I'll overlook your part in this. As promised, Mr. Thornton. Here is all the information I have regarding this unfortunate business with Mr. Song. If this information's no good, I'll be seeing you again. Such trickery would benefit me not at all. I give you my word. That is all the information I have. Oh, there is one other thing. Beware of the man called Omen Dan. That's the second time that name's come up on this case. Sounds like I need to have a talk with this guy. Dang is a powerful man in Taipei, Mr. Thornton. You would be wise not to antagonize him. Not much chance of that. Thanks for this. Be seeing you. Sending you the data I got from Hong Shu now. Receiving. Got it. Anything? According to this, the White Oak Mountain Triad was approached to provide security for a diplomatic exchange at a subway station on the Xingmei Line tomorrow night. Diplomatic exchange? If Hong Shu screwed me on this, I'll. Listen, 
The man who approached them was identified as an NSP operative. He was working undercover on a major political assassination case. And how many major political assassinations can be in the works? I guess it's good for us the NSB doesn't teach their agents quality interrogation resistance techniques. I suppose that's one way to look at it. Well, that's it then. We've got the tracking codes for the NSB bug, and now we know where to point the satellite. We can track them down and intercept the package. Whatever it is. I'm already patching into the satellite network. Whenever you're ready to go, I'll be online. Great. See you in the field. Bobola, what's the shakes? Any more antics on the horizon? Bad guys need thwomping, liberty need protecting, adorable aliens need rescuing from sinister government labs? Steven, you should know I'll be conducting an operation tonight at the Xingmei subway station. I'll try to keep it discreet, but there's a chance it could get violent. Hey, that's great, Mike. Only don't spoil your fun on my account. You feel the need to get elbow deep in some poor sap's chitlins. You go right ahead. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. Hey. You wanna borrow my lucky cigar clippers? They're lucky! Um... Thanks, but I think I'll be okay on my own. Suit yourself. Right. Well, anyways, I thought you should know, since Taipei is sort of your turf and all. I appreciate that, Mike. You've always been a stand-up guy, you know that? Not like when. No, sir. Not like when at all. Yeah, okay. I'll be in touch if anything else comes up, Thornton now. I'm not seeing anything. Are you sure we've got the right place? Everything we have points to here and now, Mike. Hold on. I've got a signal. It's on the move, about 500 meters west of your current position. What the hell's it doing over there? They must have moved the Mina? Mina! Portable radio channel. Very useful. Points for considering camouflage, Agent Thornton. But try something that blends in with the civilians more than the surroundings. How do you know who I am? You're new to the game, but I have my sources. You aren't that good at hiding. Omen Dang, I take it? Put the gun down before I take it away from you. Unlikely. It would take you at least half a second to reach me at this range. I can shoot significantly faster than that. I have things to take care of. Tasks I cannot allow you to interrupt. There is a maintenance door over there. Go inside. If you're gonna kill me, why not just do it right here? Eventually your body would be found and would spark a police investigation. That is a tension I would prefer not to draw. So, what now? You're going to stay put until my men have completed their objectives. After that, if you're as resourceful as I've heard, you'll have no trouble getting out of here. Charming. Just how I wanted to spend my night. We must all endure hardship for the cause we believe in. Sorry about that, got interrupted. What happened? I just met the legendary Omen Dang, who locked me in a maintenance tunnel. I'm not going to ask. I see you. The package is still in play. It's on the move, at the next platform over. I'm on it. Hurry, Mike. There's no telling how much time we have. Where is he? Dang's at the dog with you. I've got company. So much for Dang's word. I don't know. Stay here. I'll take a look down the hall.
brains are pretty loud here. Might come in handy if I need to take a shot.
transponder says they're in your area. Maybe below you? You're not supposed to be here! Requesting backup! We have a shooter! Mike, what are you doing? They're civilians. Didn't have a choice. Gate's open now. Time to say hello to our friends downstairs. He's here! You said this location was safe! Kill him! Mike, your target is on the move. Don't let him get away.
alive. I may die, but so will you. Think you can dodge a train? Damn. Time to turn back. Okay, I've got the disc. Let's see what Omen Dang knows. I'm patching into your system now. Oh, this is good. He's using elliptical curve encryption to mask the data structure. In English, Mina. Sorry. Just really impressive security. All I needed to know. Any luck yet? Just bits and pieces. Something about the assassination attempt and riots at Sung's rally. Maybe to cover an escape or a secondary plan if the assassination fails. Mina, we're looking at the assassination of the president of Taiwan and a riot at a packed political rally. That could end with a lot of people dead. I need something I can use. Going as fast as I can, Mike. Uh-oh. This... this is not good. Uh-oh? What did you do? It wasn't me. There was a hidden security protocol on the disk. When I tried to access it, the disk started reformatting itself. Mike, this format is running too fast. I can maybe decrypt one of these files before it wipes the disk. Damn, which one? It's your call, Mike. But you better make it fast. Sun is the primary objective. If he dies, the entire region is destabilized. Got it. That's it. Whatever else was on that disk is gone. No chance of recovering the rest, huh? I wouldn't count on it. But at least we've got something. Yeah, I just hope we made the right call. And so we come to the events in Taipei, Agent Thornton. Yeah, Taipei. I understand you spoke with Stephen Heck upon arriving. That was a wise decision. The man can be... territorial. You know about Heck? Let me tell you, he won't be happy to hear that. Might even do something drastic. We've known about Mr. Heck for quite some time. We don't consider him a threat. It was Heck who provided you with information about the conference at the Grand Hotel, wasn't it? Do you even need to ask? Not especially. You took a very direct approach to this operation, didn't you? There were several civilian casualties. Didn't have time to go around them. You're becoming a realist, Agent Thornton. Heck wasn't the only dangerous contact you made in Taipei, was he? You're talking about Hong Shur. Making deals with triad bosses isn't the best way to guarantee a long and healthy life. I think I can handle a few guys in bad tracksuits. Nevertheless, your one-man crusade in the slums kicked the Taiwanese security forces into high gear. You may have done more harm to Hong Shi's organization than you realize. And then you met the mysterious Omen Den. Who? Oh, right, Cape Guy. Don't bother playing coy, Agent Thornton. I know all about Deng's role in the assassination. You mean... We'll get to that later. Faced with the choice of which information to save, you chose... I chose the information that would save some. Why? Seem like less work? Don't be glib, Thornton. I made the best choice I could, given the options. But it didn't turn out that way. Did it? <laughs> 